hours. And let me just see. Color, color. Eight of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. This whole you that we have made. One order. Is what you're going to get in one order. That's incredible. So tell me, you picked these out. Yes. You named these. You brought them to QVC. Hot pink lightning. I, and I saw, love it. I saw it, and I have to tell you, <laughs> I just had an absolute fit. There were hundreds and hundreds of sun patients oh. at what we call these plant evaluation trials. Uh -huh. That's where they put them out. And people like me, you know, who are in the business, we go and we see what we like. Yeah. They don't even have names at that point. They are they're oh. coded. That's yeah. it. And I've got my little pad and I'm writing down what I like. Yeah. But this one, I didn't have to look at it. I saw it and I thought I want it from a distance it read. Wow. So it had the curb appeal, but what gave it the curb appeal was the perfect clean pink, the hot pink, yeah. the perfect clean blossoms, but that electric foliage gorgeous gorgeous color and that's why i thought pink lightning oh. it just hit me like a thunderbolt exactly <laughs> <laughs> and i was just gonna say if my husband's watching honey get these sun <laughs> patients <laughs> because now let's talk about are these hard to grow where where in the country can they grow and you all grow, that the, the, this is our most popular annual the sun patients oh and in fact i gotta just say yeah. they're on auto delivery yes. too so if you want to get them this year and you want to automatically get them next year you're guaranteed to get them both years by putting it on auto delivery which is m as in mary uh five Five three nine two zero M five three nine two zero. We'll put them on auto delivery. Now I'll go back to what you were saying. Lovely. Sorry. Well, what I wanted to say is that these will give you more color coverage than any other annual out there, and our customers know that, and that's why they lock in. And people who had never gardened before got these, and they absolutely love them because it gives you a sense of success because they work. Yeah. All you need to know how to do is water. They will wilt if they need to be watered. Okay. So what I do if I've got them in containers, I put saucers underneath them. Leading up to my front door, I've got big pots. Oh. That's only four wow. plants. That's four plants? That's four plants. And you're getting eight plants. You could do two front doors. <laughs> oh, my goodness, it's turned into a duplex overnight. <laughs> but that's what the foliage looks like in full baking hot sun in Dallas. You get more, the more sun you have, the more golden the foliage okay. is. But even a shade area, you can see that's under a tree. Yeah. You've still got that beautiful lightning struck foliage. Uh -huh. And the plants that we ship out to you are dense. They're those tall pots that I yes. keep talking about. Ooh, I, I love like that. that look in the garden. Oh, if you good. can get tall pots, get tall pots. It's uh -huh. just an elegant look. Mm -hmm. um, but a blanket of color you're going to get out of these, and uh, they will arrive when it's time to plant. And half shade oh. to full baking sun, doesn't matter. They're going to perform beautifully there. And I painted the door to go with the plants. Oh, I mean, that's wow. just the way it works right. when you're a designer that's kind of lost <laughs> his mind. <laughs> You know what? I want to go back to the one picture that had them next to those elephant ears. Oh, that was pretty. Because you know what? My husband is known for his big elephant ears outside the front door of our home. I mean, all the neighbors are like, yep, we know Mark's elephant ears. Here they come because they're just big and green and they make a statement. My but granddaddy had big ears too. <laughs> okay, got it. <laughs> Not this kind of okay, ears. Okay, thank you. <laughs> um, but the fact is, is that you put this around those big, you know, elephant yeah. ear plants. It's and a stuff. look. Yes, it's stunning. But okay. gorgeous color. It's a big collection. I'll show you how they come. Yeah. To give you an idea, regular impatients will not take the, the hot baking sun. Right. And they also get disease problems. Mm -hmm. These hold up. This stage, this is the way they arrive. You can already see these are dense. Don't be afraid. They're not going to break off. Uh -huh. Big, dense plants, good good uh, structure in there. Don't they grow fast, too? Yeah, from that to four, to 4th of July. Oh, my look. goodness. Seriously? But again, look at all the color. And also, look at how big the individual blooms are. Look at that. Wow. Lightning structure. You're not going to see an annual that is more dramatic than this. This is right. awesome looking. But... I want to show, we talked about the body of the plant. Yeah. Look at the stems, what thick, the, thick stems. Oh, Regular impatience, kind of wimpy. Yeah. Look at this, and this is not gonna fall apart on you. They're 4th of July. Now, then we're getting wow. close to my birthday, like August the 10th. Mine too! Remember, <laughs> we're, 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 in. we're both except, August 10th. Except I'm getting, so I'm getting um, what, <laughs> Medicare this year, oh, for real. <laughs> 
This this I'm, is a better not, insurance yeah, policy. Me, I know almost. you're not. But like you say, in August, oh my gosh. This is what I'll have on my birthday. Yeah. And then as we go on into fall, oh if you live God. in the areas where you've, you've had a long season, if you're in a short season, this is your mature size. Okay. If you live in the deep south where you've got a longer season, oh, can you child, lift that? This is what they will oh do to gosh. Mississippi, Alabama, Louisiana, Tennessee, uh, North Carolina, South Carolina, oh, Texas, Florida, California, where you got a really long season. Yeah. This is what they do. This, my friends, is one <laughs> plant. But I wanted to show you, look wow. how dense it is, because mm -hmm. again, they don't fall apart. Look at the structure of the plant. I'm going to open it up right. so you can see all the stems and the foliage down in there. You get those big whipping storms that you get down south. So what? These are not going to fall apart. Oh my gosh, they are so gorgeous. Look at that. Here's the thing. If you want to get more than one set, you get 16 plants. But if you're going to make a row of them, make a line of them, then maybe you want to do that because you want to make sure you've got enough. There's nothing worse than you run out and you're like, oh shoot, I'm six feet from the end, you well, know, and you can't also, necessarily but get you, anymore. You can't get these because pink lightning no. only here. Only here at QVC. Only here. This is my baby right here. And there, yep. there's your husband's ears again. That's exactly. Uh -huh. <laughs> there's his ears. <laughs> you put it with all the big greenery. Look at that. That is so beautiful. So remember, you're getting eight plants. They're all going to have the same color of flower. It's a bright fuchsia pink. Yes. And it is stunning. And look at this. I mean, when you look at these, I love how they did that there. Uh, but that's going to like swallow those swans, isn't it, as it grows? Completely. I mean, that, <laughs> don't you feel like you're at Carolyn Gracie's house now? Yeah, exactly. With all of the geese and the swans and all that's that around. Right. But a clo the closer you get to these, the better. If you've just got a patio garden, you want something that's beautiful. Yeah. And my uh, mentor was Rosemary Vary from England. Uh -huh. And she told me, she's an English garden designer, and she also, but she designed all over the world. Uh -huh. And she said, you Americans, you just look at the flowers. You only look at the flowers. You've got to look at the foliage. Look at the leaves. The yeah. plants have got to have good leaves. That's right. And so I started looking more at it, and she's absolutely right because you know, these do bloom all the time. Some plants don't bloom all the time, so the foliage needs to be interesting. Right. If you've got something that blooms all the time and has beautiful foliage, you've won. You've won the lottery. Yeah. This is the plant lottery. Look, look at one, one, two. two Three, Three, four, five, five six, six, seven, and, and eight. eight. This and is a all of them. Big I mean, collection. This is amazing. And by the way, they will fill in. Like you're seeing yeah. the spots between them. But if you're planting them, and what about two to three feet apart? That's what I. Well, I plant mine at least three feet apart. Well, three feet apart. And that's what I have around and my gonna patio. They're going to fill it in. They're going to fill it in. But what I did around my patio, which is not really a patio, it's a concrete pad. Yeah. Uh, but I planted them. I did a bed all around the edge of the concrete. I planted them directly in the ground. Then I had big pots at the edge of the patio that butt up to the bed oh. and that ramps it all up. So then I've got them up here and then on the corners, I keep talking about the tall pots. Yeah. I got a pair of the really tall pots. Yeah. I planted them in the top of the tall pots. Because imagine you've got a whole row of these wow. here and right. then you picked up a couple of those tall pots. You can get those at the box stores, by the way. Right. Then you got suddenly a pair sentinels up here. Right. Or on your deck area, the tall pots really work. Just a little trick of the trade. Smart. That's why we bring <laughs> Philip here because he is the landscape designer. He works so closely with Cottage Farms. And I just want to remind everybody in these last minute or so, if you're going to get these sun patients, do it today because honestly, last year, if those people who waited and then went back online to qvc.com they were disappointed because there wasn't really anything left and that's why you want to make sure you get this and you're getting eight plants for a price tag of $39.72 if you think about that what's 40 divided by eight five that <laughs> means you just paid five dollars a plant and you are going to have this screaming gorgeous yard that everybody is going to be talking about. And the other thing is if you really want to make it so gorgeous, go ahead and get this tree. 
This is this braided tree and um, it's just stunning because it's all full of color. A lot of the same pink with the pink sun patience. And what else did you bring up? Ooh. A trumpet vine. Oh, I like Our that. Our fire trumpet cool. vine. Another yeah. vertical garden. Look how it picks the yellow up right there. Great Good look. Good idea. Um, Take a look at the zone map. Explain that again. Well, nothing's going to ship to you until it's safe to plant in your area. But for a heads up, take a look, pick your area of the country out, match it to your box off to the right hand side or the dates when the plants will ship. Tender plants ship a couple of weeks later. If you've never gardened before, Gardening Made Easy by Cottage Farms is your spot. We aren't happy if you aren't happy and we warrant our perennials for a full year and annuals for 90 days from time of shipment. If for any reason you're dissatisfied, Cottage Farms will replace your plant with a similar or comparable one at no charge. If your replacement's not available or it's too late in the season to ship, ships the following shipping season. I it's love like it. That. I'm telling you what, I always have such a, a fun time with you. Oh. Give me just a, a brief kind of review of what we saw in this two hour show, if you don't mind. Well, of course, we've got the Sun Patience. This is my staple annual. Yep. We also had our beautiful trumpet vines. We have the yellow one and let me pull the red one over with it. Comes with a red one as well. Those were all, that's one order right there. One order. And, wow. and we had roses. Here, I'll take this one down. Cherry. Parfait rose, Ooh. my favorite rose. I have 12 of these in the garden, oh. and it also comes, by the way, with a shot of tequila. Oh my gosh, look That's at that. That's one order, too. These roses, these were on earlier. Is that called in, the star roses? Or stars, what? yes, uh, roses, stars of the roses. Stars of the roses. So if you want to check that out, stars of the roses from Cottage Farm. Just enjoy, but get going and get your orders in because 